Welcome to part six of the Gus Animation Tutorial, and we're going to take a look at compositing. So this is our goal to make a video that looks something like this. So here we are in Blender, and one of the things that might be a problem is the speed that Gus is walking at. You might have noticed in the video that Gus was walking a little bit faster. The good news is we can speed him up very simply. Make sure you have all the points selected down here. Uh, you just click one, hit the A key if they're not already all selected, and then hit the S key to scale. And what's really neat about this is it proportionally scales uh, the distance between all of the key points. And now Gus is walking a whole lot faster. That might be too fast. I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. Whoops, there we go. I don't know, something like that. And let's see how that looks. You notice that it doesn't start at frame zero anymore. Easy enough to fix. All we do is hit the G key, grab it, and drag it down so it starts on frame one, which it looks like, oh, we're not quite there. Grab, there we go. And the last frame is frame 113. So what we want to do is uh, enter that over here. And we've got 113 frame animation. The next thing we want to do is uh, get our background. And to get the background going, what, we need, uh, what I've got already waiting is a 1920 by 1080p uh, short little video clip, the one of me that you already saw sitting at the table. You can also put a still in there as well too. Uh, but all we need to do is select a camera. So maybe we'll go to the modeling window here. We'll hit camera, uh, or layout, I suppose, and hit camera, and we've lost Gus somewhere. But let's grab Gus, we we'll use the B key, and put Gus back over here, probably scale Gus down a fair bit, I would think. Oops, and grab him, place him back over here. And we could have moved the camera as well too, but anyway. Okay, I'm gonna scale him a little bit more. And we're just roughly estimating where to place Gus. This is uh, by no means the final position. We're in object mode, that's good. We can select the camera, or you could have clicked up here to select the camera. And what, so what you wanna do is go to Object Data Properties. And inside of here, we wanna go Background Images. Click on this, we're gonna add an image. Let's make it a movie clip. Again, you could use a still image. We'll select movie clip. We'll open it up. Hopefully you've got one ready to go. I've got one in my Gus folder here. And that should be it, hopefully. And it should just appear. Perfect. You can see Gus is in the right position, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we got lots of time to work on that. Now, if I go middle mouse scroll, look what happens. Things go kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is with, again, with the camera selected, we'll hit the N key. And what we'll do is go to view and we're going to lock camera to view. I'll hit the N key again, so we hide that menu. And now if I scroll around, middle mouse is what I'm doing here. Uh, the camera remains locked in its position and we can still see that background image. That, that tech can be helpful. If I wanna scroll in or out though, look what happens. It doesn't affect the camera. So if I wanna make a change by scrolling, I need to hit the N key. I need to select or deselect lock camera to view. Uh, and then I can scroll the whole thing in or out. All right, and then I'll relock the uh, camera view, hit the N key and we're good to go. Okay, one other thing we, we you might notice is that the background is not as bright as the video should be, and that's fairly easy to fix. All we do is go down to the alpha, and you notice it's set by default to 0.5. We'll just bump that right up to one. So the, there's no alpha, and we can see the full video as bright as it was uh, originally intended to be. So we wanna make the image appear, and it's not going to, if we hit the render button right now, we're not going to see me in the background. So we've got a bit of a problem here. I'll hit the escape key, get out, get out of that. F12, by the way, to render. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to go render tab. Okay, so up here, we're going to select film and we're going to click on transparent. What that will do now is we won't see the gray background when we render, but we just see a blank. And so it's still not seen through for some reason, or perhaps the other problem is that we haven't made this actually appear. So what we'll do is we'll click on the compositing uh, tab up in the top. We'll click use nodes. I'm going to click away so we can grab these, make a bit of difference between them. And there's a couple that we're going to want to add in here. The first one is going to be a color. So add color alpha over. We'll drop that in here. And then we're going to wa want to add an input. And it's going to be, it could be an image, but we want to use a movie clip. Place that. And the image is going to go to the first slot here, which automatically bumps the other one. We're going to select the video, which there it is. All right. And we should be good. Let's render. This is promising. There we go. Fantastic. A couple of problems. Uh, the positioning and the size of the gingerbread guy need to be changed. 
Uh, we need shadows and the brightness, the lighting is also a problem. So we're gonna to try to fix all three of those things in the next couple of minutes. So we can go back to our layout window here. So the first thing we're gonna do is get Gus scaled up a little bit. And you notice the camera is selected. I'm gonna hit the A key, deselect everything, B key to select Gus. And now we should be able to just scale Gus and hopefully get Gus positioned more or less where we want Gus to be. Okay, so that's the first issue. Let's hit the space bar. Oh, I'm starting way too far back. Okay, that my mistake. I should have started on frame one. So that is important. We'll grab Gus again. And that's our starting frame, frame one. And let's just walk, watch through one entire walk cycle here. We can change the angle too very easily, although the position looks reasonably good. It looks like my eyes are kind of following where Gus is. That's not gonna be perfect for now, but that's, that's, that's something we could always sort out later or perhaps even refilm. It did not take a lot of effort to film that. We could also rotate. We could change the angle a little bit. Let's see how that looks. We'll go back to zero, camera view, and uh, back to frame one. And let's just try that, hit the space bar and see how it goes. And that's not bad, sure, that's fine. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take a look at shadows and see if we can get the shadows to improve. And there's a few steps we're gonna to have to do to make this happen. First, I'll go to side view seven, and we can see our default lamp is quite a ways over to the side. We want that more or less over top of Gus, uh, maybe a little bit to the side here, so it simulates the light in the room. And I'll render that, and what we're trying to do is figure out roughly where the shadows are and you can see if the shadows are here, it means the light must be you know, more or less over top. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to, so we're gonna to try to do the same thing here. Hit the escape key. Hopefully that position works okay. While we're here, we're gonna also add shift A, a mesh and we'll make it a plane. And that's where the 3D cursor is, of course. I should have moved the 3D cursor. We'll scale that up a little bit. We'll go to side view and we're gonna grab it, G key, and just place it uh, very close underneath the feet of Gus. Okay, because we want Gus actually making contact more or less with that uh, with that plane. Back to camera view, and we can see the plane, which is maybe not a good thing, but let's grab it. Or actually, what we'll do is we'll use the transform tool, and we'll just slide it back a little bit like this. And you can see we're gonna have to rotate it so we get that edge. Let's grab onto the blue circle here, and align it as best you can. And then we'll drag it back a little bit more. Could also grab, we hit the tab, and go into uh, vertice, or uh, sorry, into edit mode. Hold down the shift button so we've got these two vertices active. I think we have them. And we can just slide that over a little bit. And that should cover all the distance that we need. You can see this point isn't perfect. I can select on that point and just drag one point over at a time. And I think we're pretty close to where we want to be. Hit the tab button. Now we're back to object mode. Uh, and our plane should be fine. Let's render this and see what we got. Hopefully we've got some shadow there. Okay, I made it too far off the screen. Let's go back to uh, frame one, or frame 10 maybe is fine. Render that, and yeah, we've got a good shadow there. The problem, of course, is that the shadow is also showing up on, uh, on top of the, uh, the plane. The other problem is uh, we talked about is, is the color is just too dark. You can see how brightly lit I am. We need to light uh, Gus up just as brightly. So to do that, I'll go back to side view, three, and I'm gonna hit the... Uh, a key, deselect everything, or A key twice. I'm gonna shift, right click to put the 3D cursor up here. Shift A, I'm gonna add a lamp or light, and we'll make this one a sun. And maybe I'll grab that, move it a little bit to in front of Gus, and maybe rotate that light so it's more or less aimed at Gus. You can see the line here, I'll rotate that again like this. And that should brighten him up pretty good. Let's see how that looks. Okay, a couple of problems again though. He is lit much better, but we have multiple shadows now. We just want one light from the shadow because you can see that's all we really have in this room. There's a single lamp. And so we're gonna need to turn off the shadows just for the sun lamp. And to do that, what we do is select it. We go to uh, Object Data Properties and we uncheck Shadow. We'll render that again and we should only see a single shadow, which we do. And that shadow actually looks pretty good. If we want to increase the intensity of that shadow, we'd pull the light down closer uh, or lift it up a little bit further. There's other ways, but that's uh, the simplest way for now. Uh, okay, we can also change the intensity of the sun, by the way. All we do is bump it up, hit the strength. Let's just type two in and render again, and we'll see how that looks. And yeah, he's actually lit a whole lot better. Our shadow is dimmed a little bit too, but I do like that lighting and it's a subtle shadow. So let's just leave it at that for now. 
Okay, we still have that problem of this uh, plane not being transparent. So we need to figure that out. And one of the problems that we're gonna come up against is that you can't really do it inside the EV engine. Apparently there's complex ways to do it, but it's beyond my abilities. So I'm just gonna switch over to Cycles Render, which is gonna slow things down. And we're probably gonna to wanna to set our device uh, to GPU compute. And if you go into your preferences uh, under system, I do have CUDA enabled. I've got a GeForce uh, 1650 card. If you've got a GeForce card, you wanna enable CUDA and select both your CPU and your GPU as well so we can speed up our render times. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick render to see how this looks. So next thing we're gonna do is select the plane and we're gonna to go to uh, properties of that plane. Then we'll select visibility and under visibility now we've got shadow catcher. And by the way, this disappears if we switch back to the EV engine. Uh, that's only viewable. We only have that shadow catcher option if we're running uh, in the cycles render. All right, let's uh, take a look at this and see how it looks. Okay, this is pretty good, but we still have two shadows here. We need to fix that shadow. So we're gonna go back to side view. We're gonna find our sun and we're gonna figure out why we've got a shadow here when we don't want a shadow. Ah, cast shadow, we need to uncheck that. Hit F12. And there we go, we've got our Gus animation. I'm gonna bring that light a little bit closer because I'm not satisfied with, uh, uh, with the, the shadow. That should be a little bit brighter. Now that's not our sun, that's our regular lamp. So we'll just click on that, I'll grab it and just drop it down a little bit. Uh, and we could maybe drop the intensity here or we could increase the intensity of this lamp as well too. That's another option. So let's just do, instead of a thousand watts, let's do, I don't know, 1400 watts. Hit enter, we'll render that. Wow, at this point I'm satisfied with how this looks. The next and final step is just to uh, output the entire animation. And I'll, have, I'll make a quick video to show that. Okay, that's it for now. Over and out.